Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about the Comet CX333. Now, this is a tri band antenna. It covers 2 meters, 144 megahertz. It covers 220, and which is 1.25 meters. And it covers 440, which is 70 centimeters. Now, this is all in one antenna. Um, we put it together. It's a ground plane vertical. Uh, it will handle all the power you want to give it. It will work on digital transmissions as well, so it's good for normal FM and D-Star. And again, it's a tri-band antenna. So we're going to be putting it together, and uh, we just got it. It's going to be going up on the mast as part of our new station, so stay tuned as we talk a little bit more about this antenna. We'd like to ask that you please subscribe, hit the like button, and the notify to stay current with our content. Thank you. Now the antenna on the top part has a top and it has a bottom and that part slides into the other tube and then you connect the radiating element at the top with those two set screws onto the bottom and it goes in there and then that PVC screws down on there and locks it all into place. Now the big thing to realize is is that upper element does slide in that tube. So when I got mine it wasn't enough to tighten one of the screws. You just grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it out a little bit and you put it all together. And this is what the basting mass looks like. This will attach to the top of your mast or your tower for the whole antenna when it's done. But right now we're just going to be joining the two pieces together. And as you can see not too bad now that one clamp right there is going to go above that bolt hole right there because that bolt hole will rigidly hold it to the base of the antenna and then now we're getting ready to join these two together and push them in and that wasn't so bad and then we just screw and tighten that all together now that's how it goes together now there is some tape that we have to put in there and there's Again, we're applying all the screws, and that is a gasket tape. You want to make sure you put it in there, and you want to tape it in the right spot, and you don't want to put too much, and get it in there. And where I put it right there turned out to be absolutely the wrong spot to put it. But anyway, uh, once you get it all together, it screws up fairly nicely, and that rigidly holds it together. And We gave it a good, good little torquing. When it's all done, it's about nine and a half feet long, so you kind of get an idea. And again, this is a two meter, 220 and 440 antenna vertical for a base station. And then these are the ground plane radials. There's three of them. I've already put the nuts on them, and they're going to go and get tightened in the bottom before the antenna goes up. So this is the new antenna going up that's going to be going up on the tower with some L&R. So hope you enjoyed what this Comet 333 antenna looked like.